Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, okay, today I wanted to do another keto video for you guys because it's been a while since I've done a video in regards to keto and discussing a little bit more about it, especially for those who are beginners on keto. And if you've just started watching my channel or whatever the case may be, if you have either just started doing keto yourself or you've been doing it for a while, I just wanted to share a few tips with you guys that you might find helpful. Uh, it's going to be on September 1st uh, of this year, 2020. It's going to be three years that I've been on the ketogenic lifestyle. I lost all my weight in the first 18 months, 150 pounds. I went from 295 pounds, almost 300 pounds, all the way down to 145. And I've been maintaining my weight ever since. Of course, you know, once in a while I'll have a little cheat. So with the cheat, you always put a few pounds of water weight up and down, but I always maintain myself uh, anywhere between 145 and 150. I always try to maintain myself there. I never go above that. So, um, you know, it's it's been quite a journey for me and I have learned so much throughout this ketogenic lifestyle and it's just amazing. I love it. I, you know, I believe that keto, keto is for everyone, anybody and everybody could do keto, but I understand that there are people out there that feel that certain things are not for them and I totally understand that. That's why in I'm sorry you guys, my phone cut me off. Anyway, like I was saying, that's why I always say in all of my videos, find what works for you. There are certain things that, you know, some people feel more comfortable doing than others or whatever. So I always try to relay out there through my videos as much information as possible that I can that you guys might find helpful. So yeah, you know, so hopefully out there you could try stuff that will work for you and maybe you know you've tried it a different way and you don't seem to be getting that many results and maybe you want to try it my way and it might work for you so yeah that's why i always share all my information out there with you guys everything that i've learned along my journey i just you know i simply am very passionate about helping others and i am very passionate about the way that i teach keto i know a lot of people out there get offended when I say that, you know, dirty keto is not true keto or, you know, eating processed foods is not good for you. That's not truly the way to do keto. I, you know, I'm sorry if some disagree with that statement, but it's what I believe and I'm very passionate about it. And I'm here for health reasons, you know, because it's not only about losing the weight, it's about being healthy. And I truly believe that when you do keto in its most wholesome form, which is eating real foods, real wholesome foods, I believe that that's when, that's how you're going to get the best results out of this ketogenic lifestyle. And you're going to reap amazing results. And yes, you know, I'm not saying that there are not times that I might have something that's processed or whatever, you know, on my keto journey, especially if you're like on the go and you're always like in a rush or whatever and you just got to get grab something really fast or make something that's, you know, that's fast and available at the moment, then yes, you know, sometimes yes, it's okay. But I don't believe that if you are doing the ketogenic lifestyle, that that's something that should be a part of your regular normal everyday diet you know for example this is something that i bring up a lot because it's very important to stress this out for you guys and i was recently having a talk with my friend angel about this my friend angel her channel name is keep it keto she's the one that guided me taught me throughout my entire weight loss journey and thanks to her teachings i have been very successful on the ketogenic diet but we were having a discussion the other day about um fast food okay now you guys a lot of fast food restaurants out there especially mcdonald's that is not real meat that you guys are eating that is processed god knows what okay it has tons of processed stuff yeah there are other restaurants like out there that do uh, make uh, burgers and they are a fast food chain restaurant that makes uh burgers like i'm talking about the beef i'm not talking about the other stuff they put on it 
but the beef is 100% beef. Or for example, bacon. Bacon is real bacon in these fast food restaurants. But when you go to a fast food restaurant and you buy yourself a burger and you ask for it without the bun or whatever, if you put American cheese, first of all, American cheese is processed, is very bad for you. Once in a while, I believe it's okay to have it. But when you're having that often, every single day on your ketogenic lifestyle, you guys, that's going to cause a lot of health problems. Yes, you're going to lose the weight. You're not going to lose much body fat, though. There is a difference between losing weight and losing body fat. You're not going to lose much body fat because you're still consuming these crazy amounts of processed foods and foods that have these oils in them and grease in them that is not good for you, you know? When you're doing the ketogenic diet, you need to stick to healthy oils like, you know, butter, coconut oil, uh, olive oil, avocado oil, stuff like that. But when you go to a fast food restaurant, you're not getting the best food out there, you know? And for example, like I was saying, the American cheese that they put on those burgers, even if, if the beef is 100% real beef and it's not processed, the American cheese is. Another thing that I don't know if you guys knew, but those little packets of mayonnaise are processed. How do you think they preserve it? How do you think they keep it from not spoiling? And they'll keep it there for months until people open up the packet and use it on their burger. All that crap is processed. You know, if you want real mayo, get, you know, get your jar of mayo, buy yourself your bunless burger, make sure it's 100% beef and put your own mayo on it or put your own cheese from home on it. But you know, like that is something that I believe that it's very unhealthy, you guys. And in the long run, you know, it's like I said, yes, you're going to lose weight, but it's going to do awful things for your health. You know, it's going to give you, first of all, do you guys know that processed foods are linked to high blood pressure, you know, and not to mention like the cholesterol and stuff like that, because even though you think you're keeping it keto, it's still dirty keto, you know, and it's not doing much for your health because people in these fast food restaurants are cooking your food with unhealthy oils so you know you're putting that in your body in your system and even though it's oh it's keto because it doesn't have the bun you know or it's keto because it doesn't have like the tomato or whatever but you are using ingredients on it that is full of awful fats you know unhealthy fats for you and tons of processed things in it you guys so you know it's like i said yes once in a while you're on the run whatever you know or you're traveling and you need to stop somewhere near starving and go right ahead stop at a fast food restaurant and grab something really fast remove the bun and there you go but it's dirty keto but it's a once in a while thing you know and i think that if you make that an everyday thing it's not you're not going to be in your best optimal health that you should be in when doing keto because that is one of the amazing benefits of the ketogenic diet is that you are reaping amazing results because you're eating good real wholesome foods so here's my tip to you guys you know if you guys are just beginning or whatever and you're interested in the keto diet make sure that you keep it as clean as possible you guys eat real meats uh, leafy green veggies Yes, you could have cheese, but try to eat cheeses that are not processed, you know, buy your own condiments like, you know, your uh, mayonnaise or whatever, and make sure that it's not those little packets that they sell in the fast food restaurants because that is, it has tons of processed crap in it. And I don't think you want to put that in your body, you know, if you're trying to get healthy. It's like I say, you know, most people enter these uh, diets or lifestyle changes just to lose the weight, but most of them don't really care about their health or the health benefits that comes with eating healthier, you know, especially the keto diet. So, but me and my channel, I do healthy. I do healthy keto as much as possible. I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect and I don't have once in a while, but you know what? It's been three years since I started my keto diet that I have not consumed any fast food. Uh, at the beginning when I first started keto and I was trying to get familiarized with the diet and everything I would have like maybe a grilled chicken salad from McDonald's or I will I would buy like the burger and remove the bun and just have the bunless burger but that was at the beginning of my journey but ever since then almost three years 
that I haven't had a McDonald's, a Taco Bell, a Burger King, a Wendy's, Arby's, nothing like that. There is, There hasn't been any fast food in my system for the past almost three years. And I am very proud of myself for that. And if you guys are here on my channel, I keep it real. I tell it like it is. I don't care if people get offended because I say that processed foods are bad for you, that fast food is not true keto. I'm sorry. That is what I believe, what I stand for. And I will teach keto that way, the healthy way, the true way to do it till the very last day I take my very last breath because it is what has done amazing results for me, what has worked the best for me. And I am at my most optimal health thanks to staying away from all those bad foods. So if you guys are here because you want to learn and you want to reap not only weight loss, but health, health benefits from this ketogenic lifestyle, then you guys stay tuned, go through my uh, keto playlist, and you're going to learn tons of stuff that I have taught in regards to how to truly do keto and be healthy. Because it's not just about losing the weight and looking great. It's about being healthy at your most optimal health. And you're going to, not only are you going to look great, but you're going to feel great. And that's the most important thing of it all, being healthy. All right, you guys, I will see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.